Hello friends, welcome back. In last video, we have started Reflection API. I have given introduction, what is Reflection API? A Reflection API is a set of predefined classes. It is used for loading a class, instantiate class, access the members of the class dynamically by reading the class name at runtime. Uh, now, in this video, let us try to list out all the points we are discussing in this chapter. Nothing but syllabus of Reflection API. Okay, look at here. Uh, First, we are understanding what is an API, why API, what is an API documentation, why API documentation, how can we get Java, SE, API and API documentation. Then we will understand what is reflection, what is reflection API, why reflection API. Then following by the classes available as part of reflection API, purpose of each class available in this reflection API. Next, the packages for above classes, reflection API is a set of classes. It is all the set of classes are available in different packages. So what are those packages we are trying to understand. Then next, the class object memory structure with all above classes objects. The next, different methods available in above classes and their purpose. Following by, we start the running the program. Reflection API based to programs for loading and instantiating a class runtime dynamically, one program. Instantiating the loaded class by using param constructor, second program. Accessing the fields from this loaded class for reading, modifying data. Next, for invoking methods from this loaded class. Next, accessing private constructor, private fields and private methods. You know, by using Reflection API, we can access the private members of the class. Then we will get the clarity on what is the difference between creating object using new keyword and reflection API, different ways to load class into JVM, what are the different members executed, not executed on this class and finally we will apply all this reflection API in one project. So by end of this reflection API chapter completed, you will have full fledged clarity on projects development in the real life and also you will understand how the uh, advanced Java servlet, server software is developed and Spring Boot is developed also, you will get clarity. Don't miss this chapter till end. Every day you will get one new video. Don't miss this chapter till end. Very, very important. Okay. Thank you. Subscribe to our Naresh IT channel for more updates.